Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Captain Shock here. And man, oh man, they gave me the raw nuke variant. And it's called the Solar Power Row. And what's up with this magician here? Is this some kind of new rig? This guy is on some next level trickery. So it's called a solar power row and you get it from the summer supply drops. I spent almost over 400 keys trying to get it. Infinity Ward trying to hold me back. Don't hold me back. Don't chain me up. I will break free from those chains. I need it. I wanted this weapon. Because you guys know me. I'll just love the row. But my row is not powered by solar energy. It's actually powered by the sweat, the tears and the anger of the enemy team. Now you can see me moving away from that last gunfight and the reason is he had a better position in there. So if I had engaged that, remember I just killed two of his teammates and I had to reposition my reticle on him. Whereas he already was trying to position his reticle on me. So he had that split second of time to his advantage so that's why I moved away. And this decision making is very important in getting your nukes. You have to be consistent like that and just make the correct decisions. Don't push it too hard. If you know, you're just going to have a slight disadvantage over the enemy you're engaging. This is a game where the milliseconds really do count. It makes a huge difference actually. So I'm so happy I got the raw nuke variant. And is it worth the keys? Well, for me, I would say it is 100% worth every single key that I spend for it. Not because it's OP or it is the best raw variant, not at all. There's actually better raw variants than this solar powered variant. But I like it because I can finally nuke the enemy team now because I use the raw a lot and I would just have loved in the past to just nuke the enemy team but it didn't have the perk. I didn't have the means of doing so. So now they introduce a nuke perk into the raw and I really love it. And you'll be seeing a lot more of this weapon. I was hoping to get the nuke Erad as well. I've seen they introduced that in a summer promotion. However, I didn't get it. So hopefully in the future, that is a gun I would like to have as a nuke variant. Notice the ranges that I am engaging with the raw LMG. I'm keeping it to medium to those longer ranges. Sometimes even shorter ranges. You can get away with it using the raw. Which is the beauty of the raw and which is why I like it a lot. It's very versatile in multiple situations. However, I'm still playing to the gun's strength. So that is that longer range than say if I was using a submachine gun or an assault rifle, right? So you have to adapt to the weapon that you're using. I keep saying that, but I see everywhere else People don't play to the gun that they're using. They're not adapting to the gun that they are using. And if you want to get a nuke with this weapon, you definitely have to adapt a bit and the nukes will come. So did you guys get the raw nuke variant? Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to know. If you got the E-Rod as well, tell me how good it actually is. You can see the enemy team leaving as always. There's only a few players left on the enemy team. So I'm searching. I know I'm close to my nuke or I am on a streak. So of course, that's worst case scenario when they leave, right? I don't like it when that happens. It disrupts the flow. However, look at this, boom, I see a few of them and I see where they are spawning. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play to my gun's strengths and that is those ranges. And you will see me just trapping them here by myself. I'm just keeping them at those ranges. Look, go prone, I'm playing to my gun strength. It's an LMG, I'm playing to my gun strength. You know, this may not seem very popular, but this is what you have to do to get consistent nuke. This is raw gameplay, no pun intended. It's almost unfair right now what I'm doing to these guys. They can't do anything. They can't escape the bullets. They're filtering through those choke points. I'm just taking advantage of that. And you can see the aggression in that zombie. He keeps coming after me. He keeps trying to change up his angles. He keeps trying to break out to kill me. He knows I'm on a streak, but I know that as well, right? So I'm just controlling him. I'm controlling his aggression for him. And look at that, boom. I get the deatomizer. Can't stop me, boy. Better luck next time. And it's easy just like that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do leave a like if you enjoyed it. Please share the videos, guys. If you want to see me grow, I rely on you guys sharing the videos for me to grow. And do subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Bye. And get headshot, boy.